If I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. I'm getting ready to take off the torques on my electronic brake control module. I just want to clean the head so I can get the driver on good. Um, you don't really have to remove this control module from the actual base, but I just wanted to see the circuit board underneath and anything like that. But again, you could have left the screws on if they're really bad and rusted and you can't get to them. You just have to cut off that very top cover so you can get to the circuit board for soldering. those are magnets or solenoids but yeah they they are loose definitely loose solder well let's fix this EBCM I have to replace all the brake lines because they are rusted out and when it gets about minus 30 below or colder this likes to give me a ABS service error on my dash and from what I've seen it's a just a cold solder joint on the circuit board so I broke the screws loose they were pretty rusty but I was thankful I didn't have to drill anything so let's get these fixing glasses on see what we can do and of course I Nice to bring rusty stuff in your house, isn't it? Okay, so we can put this to the side. So, there's obviously no screws on this thing. So it's been glued on or siliconed on, so. So I'm going to carefully trim around the edges with an X-Acto knife, making sure the blade doesn't go too far in. Circuit board on the other side of that, so careful. This took a few minutes, but I managed to get it off. Well, I sure don't see a cold solder joint, but it's tough to sometimes see if it's not at minus 30. Well, I think I'm just going to get the old soldering iron going and definitely go on these heavier contacts. The smaller ones, more than likely, there was a, probably the right amount of heat programmed for that circuit board. But when you get to larger ones, sometimes it's not enough heat. And I know some of these circuit boards are baked in an oven and that. And again, yeah, one heat is not the same for all contacts. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. Let's get the soldering guy and get them warmed up. Okay. Well, I'll get the soldering station going here. anymore. 
Well, since I'm in here, I'm going to touch those up. They're a little bit smaller, but they're the main connector. Oh my, these seem a lot more solid now. Okay, so I'm going to touch these guys up, but I need a different tip. I'm going to have to wait for that to cool down so I can change tips. Just a little bit smaller. While it's warming up, maybe I can clean some of this stuff off here. Well, I got some thermal compound, basically heat transfer paste. I noticed it was on it and it's dry. I'm not going to try to peel that off, just put some paste on top of it and it'll, it'll take away the heat if there's any heat there. I recommend you, you do that just because they did it. Wow, that's 12, $12 right there, but you need it, you need it. Okay, I'm actually going to put this to the side because I'm ready to adhere this onto this. But I got to clean the surface first. Careful, it's aluminum blocks, so I just want to lightly get whatever off of this. I don't know how it's sealed. paper. So make sure we got I'm not going to remove this. This feels like a gasket. It looks too perfect to be just poured. So I'm going to put some sealant on top of that and to fix it. Oh, but first, there is that connector there, which goes into that. Yeah, it goes into that. So I'm going to put some dielectric grease on it. You know, if manufacturers put dielectric grease on every wire connection, be a heck of a lot less problems. I save those pennies for the big guy. Okay, that's RTV. So I got some RTV sealant here. Got a one time to do this and I ain't pulling this apart, so don't be cheap. Put it on. I don't know 
looks good. Now there's a bit of a flat spot there. Why? Let's just make sure the extra. Sure pushes on hard after we soldering everything. There you go. Okay. Let's get these screws in. Okay, go around one more time to make sure they all feel kind of the same grip. I like it. Okay, so like, yes, the other day I cleaned this off. Well, before I put the RTD on it, let's get some of that thermal paste compound on the electronics, and we're good to go. Okay, heat, oh yeah, this stuff. You got a hole in it? I don't think it does. Yep, it There we go. Thermal compound applied. Okay, so let's get our new gasket on here. Looks good, but I'm going to apply a surface on this just to make sure. Well, that looks pretty good. Frank, can you get me some C clamps? Okay. 
Now. Clamps here. I think that's it, guys.